Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be talking about a relatively unusual gas giant somewhere out there in our galaxy that seems to be very different from the gas giants we have in our own solar system. We're going to go and take a look at WASP-96b and discover what is it that's so unique about it. Welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So if we actually look at our gas giants, they all seem to have relatively similar parameters. Specifically, they actually have, uh, well, gas. And uh, the atmosphere of these gas giants is um, full of different types of clouds. As a matter of fact, Jupiter is extremely beautiful because of these clouds that form on the surface. And this is actually uh, kind of common for most gas giants we've discovered so far. We've been looking around into the uh, skies and kind of looking for various exoplanets and we actually found quite a lot of different atmospheres out there in various gas giants. But when scientists from the University of Exeter were looking at the gas giant known as WASP-96b, that basically is about 900 light years away from us, they discovered something a little bit unusual. And this something is as you can probably tell from the title of this video, is that it basically has no clouds whatsoever. So let's go and jump into that system because we can't actually see it from this far away. We're going to type WASP-96 and uh, we're going to go and take a look at it. So this system is located, uh, like I said, at a distance of about 900 light years away, discovered back in 2014 and we found it by essentially looking at the star and seeing something passing in front of it. This is so-called transit analysis. And the scientists that were basically uh, looking at the new data from this star started looking at various spectra that were emanating from the atmosphere of this planet. Essentially, they were looking at what kind of materials and what kind of um, types of molecules it might have in the atmosphere. And uh, they discovered that it actually had or possessed a lot of sodium, uh, also known as Na. And the sodium usually uh, is absorbed by clouds. As a matter of fact, if you look at the absorption spectrum of sodium, you'll see that um, it normally kind of forms this unusual peak. Uh, here's actually a picture of what it may look like. Um, and the clouds kind of cover most of the uh, bottom part of this peak. But they uh, also predicted that if there was ever a planet that has no clouds, this would kind of form a very unusual tent shape. And this is exactly what they saw here. And as you can kind of see, this is a very unusual looking planet. Now, first of all, obviously it's very hot. It's about 870 or maybe even 900 degrees Celsius, possibly even hotter. That's obviously because it is uh, a so-called hot Jupiter, orbits very, very, very close to its parent star and it receives a lot of heat. As a matter of fact, it receives so much heat that, as you can see, it even creates a kind of a tail behind it, behind itself, that is. Uh, essentially, the, some of the atmosphere is evaporating. And this could be kind of an explanation for why it has no clouds. They essentially disappeared, they evaporated. Now, um, what this also means is that you could potentially kind of see into this planet, relatively deep into this planet, depending on what kind of atmosphere it has. So in other words, um, you could actually very likely see layers of this planet if you were to somehow find a powerful enough telescope to basically see this far. So we're gonna see if we can maybe enter some parts of the atmosphere and look at the star from there and kind of try to imagine what it might look like in real life because this is a relatively accurate representation of the 96p. But what is really, really cool here is that, as you can see from the surface, there's like no clouds whatsoever. It is completely blank. It's a very unusual, I guess you could call it transparent, but not really, uh, object. So let's just kind of jump into this unusual ball of red. So we're going to slowly approach the atmosphere. And what I actually wanted to do is, well, let's see what the inside looks like, but also let's actually take a look at what the outside looks like from inside this atmosphere. So I haven't really been to these gas giants before, 
And oh wow, look at that. This is very cool. I don't actually know where I am anymore. So it looks like we are inside of the um, possibly upper atmosphere. And looking back onto the star, you can kind of barely see it. But there's no clouds. So basically, the only reason you don't see it is because of the thick layer of other gases. But totally cloud free. Very, very cool. Let's actually go up a little bit. I'm going to slowly ascend from this region. Uh, something just disappeared up below us. And we're now a little bit higher up. And I think the... Oh, there we go. The star becomes more visible. And you can kind of see some maybe cloud-like formations. But I think these are just um, different refractions f formed by the upper atmosphere. And as you pass through these layers, you will now start seeing the star a little bit better. And there it is. This is a really, really unusual sight. Not something that you can kind of see on our Earth or really any other planet in our own solar system. If you did this on Jupiter, the clouds of Jupiter would actually cover the Sun pretty quickly. So, in that sense, this is actually a very interesting object to study. And an object that we definitely need to find out more about because it'd be interesting to understand what actually forms clouds to begin with. Because, as you probably know, clouds actually reflect a lot of light. As a matter of fact, one of the reasons Earth is not hotter on our, uh, in our own sort of uh, part of space is because of the clouds. Uh, clouds have a very high albedo and help Earth reflect a lot of uh, the light that would make Earth much hotter. On the other hand, uh, clouds of Venus do the same. They actually make Venus up to 90% reflective, so it would actually be even hotter if it wasn't for its clouds. Um, and on some other planets, they might do something similar. Uh, so, in other words, clouds actually play an important role in maintaining a very specific temperature of the planet. So, we need to definitely st find more and study more of these planets and discover what they actually have in common with some of the other objects we have, both in our own solar system and in the worlds that we're discovering as uh, we find more and more exoplanets. But in terms of WASP-96b, that's kind of all we know about it. We know that it has a really cool planet. We know that this is a G-type uh, star similar to our sun. And we know that this planet seems to have no clouds. Other than that, that's kind of all I wanted to talk about in this video. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. Share this video with someone who enjoys watching space videos. And come back tomorrow to learn something else. Let's move out of here. And space out. And as always, bye-bye.